is uh, the farm where I grew up. We actually milked cows here and uh, raised hogs and raised crops and uh, went into feeding the livestock. Uh, a lot of the corn and uh, grain was fed to uh, either the milk cows or to the hogs that uh, helped pay for the farm. And we raised hay, of course, for the for the cows. And uh, then over the years, the dairy cows left, and we became a beef farm. And uh, that's what it is today. We have about oh 60 beef cows down here. About two thirds of them are fall calving cows. The other third have their calves in the spring. I uh, raised quite a bit of hay, cut a lot of hay, sell horse hay, uh, and sell some cow hay, but a big part of it is sold as horse hay. Here's some fields here that uh, the hay was cut off of, and the cows that come in here this fall and pasture this down. Then some of these other fields I let grow up, and the cows are currently eating those down. This time of day, the cows are usually uh, back here in the shade. They've uh, they wake up pretty early and uh, go out and eat, and then they'll go lay down in the shade and chew up that grass that uh, that they ate earlier. Dad always wanted to leave the woodlot. That way, if he needed some timber to uh, to cut into lumber to build a shed or rebuild a barn or do something like that, well, he always had uh, some standing timber that he could he could cut. That was last harvested uh, some twenty some years ago. It could be uh, thinned again. Here's a fall calving group of cows. These are predominantly Angus. I don't think there's any black baldies in this bunch. I think they're all Angus. They're all laying here in the shade, taking it easy. There's one of the new babies. That one's already been tagged. That's number 10 scab. There's a bunch of them just about ready to pop. When uh, they start loosening up behind, that's a pretty good sign they're getting pretty close to the calving. I see some other calves down here and some cows that uh, act like they might have calves. Whenever whenever they're out like that, kind of by themselves, usually they've hid their calf and they don't want you to find it. And they'll try to keep that calf away from you as much as possible. I don't know if I'm going to find any new ones today. That's number 69 and she's got a tag in the left ear, which means that that's a little heifer calf. And that black white faced calf is out of a uh, black Hereford bull. Herefords are normally red, but there's actually some uh, some breeders that are uh, breeding black white faced Herefords now. There's a cow with a uh, red calf, and that'll be out of that uh, Hereford. This cow is basically black, black Angus, and uh, being bred to that Hereford. Sometimes that red will show through, and uh, this is an all red calf. I see another all red calf down to the left here. Uh, they hide them in the weeds to make sure we don't get a chance to see them. And this other calf, the way she, cow, the way she's looking around, I bet she's got a calf somewhere. I'll just have to take a look here and see if I have found it. Most of these have already been tagged. I thought we might find something new this morning, but so far everything's good, nothing new. 
I tell you, they can lay these calves down in this grass and you can almost run right over them and never see them. It's pretty tough. I see another cow with a calf down there too. Where's yours at, girl? Uh, I know you got one. I think the guys found it yesterday because she has uh, already been recorded as having a calf. So is this red cow. This red cow's got a red calf down here. Oh, I see it laying in the weeds. Boy, it's tough to see them. Can you see it laying right there by that uh, creek yeah. bank? There it is. Hey, Kathy. You hiding out, aren't you, girl? Actually, that's a little boy calf. Tags in the right ear, so it's a little boy calf. 69, got a little black, white face heifer calf. Yeah. Hey, girl. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find any new ones in this group. I think this cow's had a calf. I'm gonna follow her just a little bit and see. Number 70, let me see if they rode her down or not. She'll probably take us right to her calf here. They probably got them right along this creek somewhere. They're just so hard to see. Yeah, I know, 25, you've got a calf because we've got you rode down. I don't know where it's at. You gonna take us to it? Mm -hmm. You gonna take us to it? I'll just follow you. Meh. Sometimes you can ball and they'll go right to them. Meh. 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 It's amazing these cows can lay these calves down out here in this field and they'll remember just exactly how to go back and find them. See, she's heading to it now. She thinks that calf has called her. So she's heading to that calf now. Meh. Meh. Did you forget where you put it? Hmm? Ah, looky here. Meh. 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 There's number 25. That's a good looking black white face bull calf. Yeah, there's your baby. Uh-huh. You remembered where it was at. Yes, you did. Yeah. You can pretty well tell if the cows uh, are going to chase you off or not. She's pretty gentle, aren't you? You don't mind me being around you, calf. We tagged it yesterday or day before. There we go. You going to get up and have a little milk? Have a little drink? Huh? Go have you a little drink. Bunch of these cows are really getting close to calving. When they get a big udder and they kind of get loose behind, they're gonna calve real soon. Most of them are right there. Uh, we've checked this group of cows. Uh, there's probably one new calf that uh, couldn't find today. So hope you've enjoyed a uh, little look at uh, fall calving here at Blue Ribbon Farms. And uh, if you like this, just hit the bell and subscribe and, 
and uh, become a, a YouTube viewer. It doesn't cost me anything at all. Thanks for joining. I'll be back again with some more. Have a look. See you.